Good morning. We are the Life Motivators. We come in here each day, 365 days, holidays, birthdays, Christmas time. It really doesn't matter because we come in here each day to fellowship, to start our energy, to start our vibrations, to put us on the right track before we get started within our day. Some have already started the days because they're already on that East Coast and they've been up since way early this morning and rocking it out already. But they've learned how to get their self within tune and within a vibration and within an energy thought process to know that they're going to rock out this day no matter what because they have been sharpened by the best tools within the universe. That is the tools from the past, the people that we have learned from, the situations that we have been in, and everything that we have gone through ourselves and our experiences. It done nothing but sharpen us because we learned from those experiences of everything that we was in, whether it was the darkness, whether it was the anxiety, whether it was the depression, whether it's the self-doubt, whether it's the fear of something, whether it's just that unknown. Because most people are just have that fear, well, I don't know what's going to happen. Shit, if we all did, this wouldn't be a fun game, would it? If we knew what was going to happen at the end of this day already before we woke our eyes up, would we get out of bed or would we just stay there? Hey, I already know the ending of it. I might, might as well just stay here in bed. I don't need to get up. you know. But that's not the way we are built. That's the, not the way we are engineered. We are engineered to put vibrations and energy to everything that we're doing, to every moment that we're living in the now time space reality. This energy that we're putting off right here, right now, what's coming here in a moment will be a different energy, a different vibration, because those that you feel from in here will give you a different energy, a different vibration, a different thought process, a new perspective to thinking, because when you start to listen to people on different parts of the planet and the things that they're going through that is so similar to what you're doing, but they're putting a different perspective to it, gives you a new insight to how you can learn something new. So we're being sharpening right here, right now, today, in this moment, today, and then tomorrow, we'll say yesterday, we were sharpened by Miss Ashley. We were sharpened by Miss Shannon. We were sharpened by Brother Julio. We were sharpened by the words that was giving out and these morning vibrations that they give us each day to come and listen to for free. Not charging us to be here, but giving their love, giving their energy to us every morning because that's the best part and the best way to live our life every single day. We've got to find that one. Miss Holly, if you can mute, please. There we go. Thank you. But giving the energies of what we have, we're coming in here as entrepreneurs because we have shifted our life and our vibrations from what we was doing. And we started paying attention to that, what that we was learning in the past that we was, people was giving us the information, but we wasn't ready to receive it. But now we're starting to awaken to listening to things that we was going through in the past and those that we was that was there at that time frame is like you know what that person was giving me that information then and now i can see how if i would have implemented it that probably five years ago i could have been a little bit sharper here now but i am thankful for what i have went through in the time frame not living with a regret that you didn't do it then but knowing that the other things that happened within your life was also sharpening you to get you to that awakened moment to where you say i am ready to truly receive the knowledge, the inspiration, the words, the wisdom, the courage, the physical abilities every single morning that is going to be sent to me. And that way I know I can go out and accomplish my task, my goals, and my journey throughout this day, not worrying about what everybody else is thinking that I should be doing because they are just casting judgment if they are telling me how to live my life. They're just casting judgment if they think that I am a little off rocker from doing some of the things that I do that they think have never been in. And they don't understand. But if they would just get a little bit more wisdom and a little bit more knowledge to receive, then they would understand where I'm at in my receiving mode. Because we are all at different levels of receiving and awakening within our journeys of life. But just know that each person that you have ever met throughout your life may have given you a little bit of something that brought joy, brought happiness in a time frame that you may have needed, and been so fruitful to that person and you'll never even know it. I asked Miss Ashley a question yesterday. Her camping trip got re-altered to a different location because of vehicle problems. So they had to find a total different campground than where they were going. And I asked her, what was the one person, the one conversation, or the one thing that happened that may have stood out? And I'll let her tell that little part of what the boys did and then the person that they met. Because that story is very powerful because when you sit there and look at, I got rerouted for a reason. I was there for either a season in somebody's life 
to be able to give good words or I was there for me to receive something good within my life. Either or, or her two boys. So Miss Ashley, you wanna talk a little bit about that story? Yeah, definitely. Um, so like Thomas was saying when he asked me that yesterday, you know, I really was kind of like thinking about all of the different people because we did, we ended up meeting, you know, different children and different families. And there was many different people that would not have been in our experience had we not have been rerouted there. But then, you know, this one gentleman came to mind and it all started to make a little bit more sense. So he was probably about four campsites away from ours. Um, and as we were speaking with him, I could tell that his color was a little bit off. He didn't look very well, his eyes, you know, he looked like he had an illness of some sort. He had, he definitely was carrying like a sadness um, to him. He was almost had this feeling like he, he had this energy feeling about him that was kind of like he was in his end stages of life. Um, we never really did talk about anything to do with his health or anything like that. It was just something, you know, that I was definitely picking up on. Um, but our kids really took a liking to him and you know he was really really good with kids and they kept drawing pictures for him and they would run them back over to his campsite and he had these clothes pins and he would hang them up on like his little like clothesline that he had made there and you know the kids really like he was just one of those people like he would you know he'd involve them in his cooking process and like look at his cool camping gear and he was just like really creative at like building an experience for him right and as I was speaking with him you know we were kind of talking about like what where we're from and what I do and what he does and it turns out that what he had done as a career was he ran like camps for kids that were between the ages of like four to nine or four to 10, somewhere in there. And so, you know, it was really interesting that it's like he, he kind of got to like relive his passion through our children, right? Like you could see the light come back into him and to do and be with the kids that he really, really enjoyed being with. And, um, so yeah, I mean, I again, I never really like talked to him about exactly what was going on in his life, but you could see that for those moments or for those days that we were with him, definitely brought a lot of happiness into his now moments, you know, where he could kind of just submerse with those kids, with our kids. And every time they'd run another picture over, <laughs> you know, it would just like make him feel so special. And he was so good with the kids. So it was really interesting when Thomas asked me that because that experience wouldn't, wouldn't have really, not that it didn't stand out, but I wasn't putting as much thought into what that may have meant to him. I know what it meant to the kids, you know? So when I started reflecting yesterday, when Thomas asked me that, it was like, yeah, like that was probably a completely different experience for him as well too, right? and what that meant in his life, in his now. That's yeah. it. Because we never know when we're sharpening someone, mm -hmm. or actually sometimes when things are coming out to sharpen in our lives. The little moment of why wasn't he at a campground with a bunch of other kids, like she said, he was going through things in his life and wanted to do something he, he loved, and to have those children run back and forth and doing that with him could have brought, has probably has brought so much to his life. Like she said, the energy that awakens something back in him to say, you know what? I do love this. I do love this life still. You and know? you know what? He wasn't really all that friendly at first, to be honest. He had like closed himself off, like from the rest of the campsite. And, you know, you'd see him in passing and he wasn't really talkative at all. Right. So it also was interesting that it's like our children kind of peeled back that yeah, exactly. It's like they broke through his exterior and then he just went to this place of love, right? And he ended up being a completely different person than what he was putting on at first. I think that he was just going to be there to go through the motions and try and enjoy something, but was a little bit upset or angry or sad with where he was and didn't want to let anybody into that softer side, you know? And then yeah. leave it to the kids to break that. Not yeah. break it, but to, to, to get in it, you know it, now if it would have been one child he probably could would have resisted pushed mm -hmm. him away but with your double dose of children mm -hmm. right there your two boys 
yeah. that interjection, he couldn't stop it. They were breaking through no matter what, because they have that energy within them because they are in that vibration. Innocence, purity, adventure. It's what, yeah. it's, it's what we talk about how as adults that so many of us have lost and, and need to tap back into, you know? Yeah, he probably saw Definitely. that. Whatever wall that was up, that wall came down so easily. It was like the first time he hit it, it's like, oh, who are these little young men? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and, and, and it, it, it's, it's interesting how, how that correlates even into the topic, how that correlates mm -hmm. into energy, how that correlates into how all of our lives being intertwined. You know, um, Thomas, how many times have we talked about privately um, how that first time in Vegas meeting you, you know, um, the energies that went back and forth, even, you know, uh, what, a month ago or whatever in Dallas, how everything correlated there, you know, um, I mean, I can, you know, I told you about the experience in California that I had, you know, I, I, I think we, if we're all paying attention and we're sensitive enough to the spirit, I think, you know, um, Shannon, um, you know, she, she's kind of talking in the background a little bit, but uh, think of the, the what, 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 you know, the, uh, the, the stories and the family related issues that, you know, she's, she's brought to the forefront. Think of how all of our lives are intertwined with the purpose. Think of how all of our lives are, 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 are connected, you know, and how I believe whether, whether you believe it's God, whether you believe it's the universe, you know, what, regardless of what your belief system is, I honestly believe that we're all placed strategically on purpose without accident. You know, we are where we're supposed to be. That's why I like, I love how um, Thomas, you know, always says, don't apologize. Like, you know, so, oh, I missed it. I missed the morning Zoom or um, I wasn't there for this or I wasn't able to be there for that. And, you know, or, you know, my bad, or, you know, people say, I, I'm sorry all the time. And Thomas took, oh, no big deal. Don't say you're sorry. Why? Because you were where you were supposed to be. You know, majority of times we are where we're supposed to be. And if you're paying attention to it, and, and if you're listening, you know, if you're sensitive enough to the spirit, you know, sensitive enough to, to, to the energy and to flow, you know, I, I think we can all be put in some very um, supernatural, whether you look at it or not, because I feel like that's, that is a supernatural uh, spiritual, very simplistic moment where think of, think about the amount of energy that that person was operating off of so much so that they had a wall so much so that actually, you know, saw, Hey, all of this stuff that she described on the person, you know, on that individual, you know, and how, how children can bring about, you know, that. So, I mean, think of how many situations and circumstances you guys have all been in, in the last year, maybe, you know, where you went through something and you're just like, well, when you questioned it, why? And then you stopped and reflected upon it and, and you realized, oh, that's why I was there or, oh, that's why that happened. Or now it all makes sense now, you know, it, it kind of, um, yeah, it, it's enough to give me goosebumps and I wasn't even there, you know, experiencing that with you, but, but with my own personal experiences, you know, in the last year, um, the alignment, uh, just, just everything in full spectrum. I'm, I'm literally in, in, in awe. I'm kind of wowed, you know, by, by the events that are taking place in my own life, let alone hearing, you know, little stories like the, you know, what you just shared right now, Ashley, or, um, I mean, come on, Thomas, what, the freaking restaurant number 25, 25. I mean, just, there's just so many different things that has happened in the last year, stuff that I've shared with you within, you know, even me guy sharing the story with you guys about me and Roxana, you know, I think if you're paying attention to the energies in your everyday moments, if you're, you know, I think it, it, um, it goes back to kind of what we were talking about yesterday in reference to time guys, you know, like they're, they're, as much as we would like to say, hey, you know, you know, there's 24 hours in a day and maximize this and maximize that. It's it's so important that we enjoy the now that that we appreciate the now where we're at now, because, it, you know, the past is over with. The future has yet to happen. And you're exactly where you should be. You know, if you happen to bump into a person at the supermarket, you know, 
you know, who's to say that, you know, like, you have no idea. What if that person was in a really dark place and they seen you and they bumped into you and you gave them this big smile, this big embrace, you know, and, 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 and they, they felt your energy and they're like, what the heck is Shannon on today? Like, you know, like I've never seen her operate, you know, and it's like, what if they haven't seen you in months? What if they haven't seen you in years? You know, Thomas, you know, a person who hasn't seen you from high school, they go, Thomas, you're the last person who I ever thought would be operating off of energies like this talking about you being a motivational speaker or, you know, speaking on positivity, things of that nature, you know, think of, think of where you're currently at in your life, guys, you know, like it, I get excited and I, and I shared that with you yesterday and the day before yesterday, Ashley, like I'm, I'm happy that you're back because I know what you offer as an individual. I know the energy that you you're operating off of internally, not for me, not for anybody here, but you're taking yourself to a place every single day. You're on a journey internally. You're, 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 you know, you're tapping into your, to your source. You know, you're, you're getting your own revelation because you're paying attention, you know, because you're in, you're in your own personal synchronization. You know, how much more can we all sharpen each other? How much more can we all enhance each other? How much more can we all become that better version of us? And at that make each and every one of the individuals we see on here, a better person, you know, and then what kind of ripple effect can that have on the people we live with? You know, on the people we, we happen to work with, you know, on the people we meet and we co-create co and co-mingle with in our everyday lives, let alone here in the morning, you know, on life motivators. I mean, it's just, it, it's a beautiful place to be in, man. Thomas, I mean, come on, we, we have some little miniature great conversations in the last month. You know, seeing all of this, it's more than just a soap opera. Guys, I hope you're paying attention, man. I hope you're paying attention. You know, and you're not just like, oh, well, you know, this is some real funky stuff or, you know, this whole uh, practice of gratitude or, or energies or, you know, if you're new to it, man, and you're paying, atten you know, paying attention, you've got to see it. You've got to recognize it. You know, I hope you're drowning out the noise and the Netflixes and the news and everything else and, and, and learning what it is to, to center yourself, you know, to understand yourself, understand your routines, understand the way you think, the way you operate. You know, because in that you'll understand why you were here in that you'll discover greater things about your purpose, a greater things about your energy, you understand yourself better. So that way you can gain ground within your life. It's not just about practicing positivity, you know, but becoming that better version of yourself, you know, so you can become a better version of you, but sharpen somebody else and give to another person, give to your children, give to the people you encounter every single day. You know, we're put here with the purpose. So I'm happy to say that one of those purposes is to sharpen everybody here. And I thought I'm being sharpened every single day. I'm being equipped with different tools and, 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 you know, a different frame of thinking, a different mentality, you know, of being a part of this group, you know, as much as I contribute, I feel honored. I feel as if I'm gifted to be amongst you guys. That's how, how great I think of you, how great I think of this circle and the energies that we operate and the topics that we discuss, you know, whether it was recorded, not recorded on a weekend, a holiday, whatever, we're faithful because we're being faithful to us. We're being faithful to our own lives, to our own energies, pushing ourselves for more, pushing ourselves for greatness, you know, learning what it is not only to sharpen another person, but to sharpen ourselves, you know, in life, not relying on somebody else to feed us mentally, physically, and spiritually, you know, but learning what it is to do that for ourselves so we can get ourselves to a better place. I think that's what makes a leader. So if you're doing those things and you're practicing those things, don't think of yourself as less than, but consider yourself a leader, regardless of where you're at. You know, you're a mom, stay at home mom, stay at home wife, whatever your case is, man. You're working, not working, young, old, nothing matter, man. You know, you're a leader in your own right because you recognize that, my friend. Much love, guys. Much love taking the power of the leadership because he was sharpened by many others within his past that he paid attention to along with many of us within here. You have paid attention to those within your past and here right here in your present. And as we are continuously sharpening each other on a day-to-day -day basis, we're taking our energies and forming these new habits of things that we have to rewire because what we was doing within our past that does not work, we're setting that aside and now knowing that we can rewire and put these energies and put the habits and put these good words and saying that I will accomplish because this is what I desire. Not because I'm doing this before Julio. You're not doing any of this for me. 
You're doing you for you every day when you wake up and look in that mirror and you fight those demons that were inside that head and the many voices that you play with every day within there. There's only one person that is going to fight those and you will. And as long as you get in touch with them and set them aside and know that you have control of those voices and that you can say, you know what, not today. I, I thank you for your opinion, but we're going to set you aside right now. I don't need your opinion right now. I know what I need to do and I'm rocking with it because this is my body, my physical temple that I am living in with these energies that I'm giving out every day to the vibrations of the things that make me feel good. And I'm going to go see the people that I, that make me feel good. I'm going to hang around with the people that make me feel good and inspire me because you're going to start feeling the energies of those that are not inspiring you. You'll see that your life circle. I said that the other day will start getting a little smaller because those energies that you put off and Julio said, bump into somebody at the, at the shopping center. Let's try just a smile today. See how powerful just your smile walking down the aisle at that other person that's coming down the aisle. Never say a word. Just smile at them. Nod your head. Keep on walking. And then see how all of a sudden there's, there's just going to go from this looking around and they look at you. Oh, Hey, you know, and then they're going to keep on walking. You didn't interject too much into their energy, but with a little smile. But now when you stop and you ask somebody a question, oh, then you're all in their energy space. You're all in their different thought process that they wasn't thinking because they're looking for a little bitty bar, jar of this. And then all, all of a sudden you stop their energies from looking for that and they're all combobulated. But just a smile helps out. It's a weird little vibration of things that we do, but everything vibrates. Every blade of grass. Every wind that blows the trees is a vibration that puts off a song that you can listen to if you get that in tune. And you can sit down through your you know, five minutes a day to sit out. Mother Nature, sit in the grass if you can. If it's not snowing yet in Canada, <laughs> then you can sit on the grass and listen to the wind all the way down to whistling through the trees. To every bird singing, to every cricket that is playing. If you get so in tune, you can listen to the butterfly flap its wings. You grab your energies all the way down and you think about the people that you have learned from, the things that is grabbing energy for you and what you're doing today. Harness those energies. Grab them. Say, you know what? I am in tune with this today. I am ready to receive it. You will have so much fun with it. You'd be ready to be ready for anything at any time, any shape, any form, any fashion for that receiving. And you will see me, Julio, and a few others within here always have a pen by us and a notepad. And you'll see at different times that you'll see their heads kind of bob down and they start writing something. Why? Because when something hits you off of a conversation, record it, write it down, put it down, because it means something to you in the long run, some shape, form, or fashion may help out with a book that you're writing, may help out with some, like Ashley said, some copyright, copywriting that she's doing, may help out with a thought process that she was working on with that. Oh, that's, oh, yeah. writes it down. Shannon with her editing, you know, it might grab different tips. Oh yeah, with her affirmations that she does, might give her, if it grabs you, if that spirit gets within you and says, you know what, it's time you need to write this down, grab the pen, it's very powerful. I go nowhere without a notebook. I always have it. And then you always have a voice recorder. Never forget. This is very powerful. Leverage these things when you need to. All right. We're going to pass this on to Miss Crystal. I can sit here and ramble on about so much more stuff. And it's good be good day. But go ahead, Miss Crystal. We'll let you rock it out. Good morning, everybody. Um, so I'm stealing a little bit of this from the Huffington Post this morning. Uh, well, I guess more so sharing. <laughs> uh, each of us has the ability to feel gratitude and to share it out with others. At times along our life journey, we may lose sight of everything we have to be grateful for. Sometimes a little practice is required to get back into a natural rhythm of counting our blessings and noticing everything that is so beautiful about life. Myself personally, I'm a mom. I've got uh, two daughters and a son. And I really do enjoy witnessing their learning and fresh perspectives on life. 
Um, my oldest is in her second year university, and I thoroughly enjoy having deep, meaningful conversations with her now and just watching our relationship blossom to that next stage. And so I'm so grateful that she's still living at home and she still can lean on us and trust in us and share with us. Um, I'm continually learning with all of them and I can't help but feel motivated to bring the subject like gratitude to the surface for all of us to experience and practice together as a family. Uh, injecting an attitude of gratitude into our household is something we all contribute to and it isn't always straightforward. Each member of our family can cycle through times of being pessimistic or unappreciative. The upside of practicing gratitude and making it part of our family credo is that we lift each other up when one of us falls. We remind one another through our words and actions how important it is to express our gratitude and love of life with each other. There's always one of us who steps up and leads by example, and it isn't always one of two adults in the household either. My children have stepped up and taught me a thing or two along the way. Excuse me. I'm going to close out here with a couple of wrote from the late and great Robin Williams. You're only given a little spark of madness and you mustn't lose it. No matter what people tell you, words and ideas can change the world. And there is still a lot to learn and there's always great stuff out there. Even mistakes can be wonderful. Spread gratitude today with every step that you can. Love everyone. That's it. Love everyone. Thank you for that. The power of gratitude. Thank you for bringing the quotes there. And great, like I said, Robin Williams, a man that had wanted everybody in the world to be happy, but yet wasn't happy with inside. Mm. And we want to make sure that everybody knows that the happiness with inside, you can have it. You're never alone, no matter what you're going through. You know, we can all assist each other and support each other, inspire each other to do the better side of you, no matter what you're going through. And that way, you know, we've all been through something and you're not going through anything alone unless you choose to. So just know that there is people that you can reach out to at any time because we all have energies and love and vibrations and giving gratitude at different time frames. Like she said, every person within the family stepped up as leaders at different time frames and learned something new. You know, there's many days when I was on the trip with my two boys, when I was still in the go, 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 go mode, because I hadn't learned how to truly release of the, I've got to get here. I've got to get here. You know, we had um, a week to get somewhere and we only had 10 hours to drive there. That my boys was like, daddy, just relax, slow down. We'll get to Canada. We'll be okay. You know, we got 10 days to get there, you know, 10 hours to get there and we got a whole week. Let's relax. So I learned how to relax. And I learned from my boys during that time frame. I learned from their energies. From our past, from my life mentors that I have learned from and grown from and been inspired from, I've learned and it's made me a better person. Same with Julio. He says it all the time. His mentors that he has worked with since he was a kid has done nothing but mold and shape him and help him become the best man that he is and a better man each day. Because and you guys, yeah, I tell them, and you guys, you guys, look, the last, you know, almost two years have been transformational, man. You know, from my sister who just jumped on, Jen Mary, you know, uh, you, Thomas, Ashley, I mean, you, you, I, you know, leaders, so to speak, people who I've just watched and, and allowed to mentor me from afar. They don't even know how much they've impacted my life and changed my life and, and you know, allowed my life because I was paying attention to go in an entirely new trajectory, you know, so much appreciated, man. Love you guys. Yes. And as we all grow together each day and inspire each other and sharpen each other and learn from each other, because we all have a talent that I do not have possess. I have a talent that I have, but I learn from each one of y'all each day. And I want to thank y'all for that just as well. And coming in here and supporting it and working together with each other, co-creating each morning bringing this to light every day and making it the best that it could be and better every day. And as we're co-creating to bring this into the next year and bringing new things to new light and watching different lights start to shine from each one of y'all that are stepping up into your leadership 
and to your, your light and say, you know what? I have this. I got this. I understand your power. I understand what we're going through now. I understand what you're talking about manifestation. I'm understanding better about the energies and vibrations y'all are talking about. You know, everybody writing a story, like Jen said, it's a new story of where you're wanting to go now without all the stress, without all the worry, without all the anxiety. And it's where am I putting myself in this next level of my life? Wow. I won't have to work there for the rest of my life. I can now see that vision. You know, Shannon toyed with it for three different times. Oh, I'm quitting. Oh, no, I'm not quitting. Oh, I'm leaving Walmart. Oh, no, I can't leave Walmart. It was that little bit of self-doubt and those people voices speaking over here saying she would never do, never do, you know, and then she would get, oh, no, no. And then finally she was like, you know what? It's it. Dropping the mic. Here y'all go. Walmart, I'm out. And she moved on and took action. And then consistently kept taking action all the way up to now she's there you know, in Tennessee, after many different travels of going to the AI and, and then she went to the Awaken and then now she is, you know, manifesting more and more and more each day as each one of you. It is not going to happen overnight, but stay consistent, stay diligent, stay dedicated for what you truly desire that's going to make you happy. Go ahead, Miss Jen. Yep, absolutely. Be consistent. Follow Thomas Warden. He's pretty consistent at this stuff. If you're ever like, you know, feeling unmotivated, just look at Thomas. Look at the cool stuff he posts, right? He's been consistent from day one. Uh, the guys that run the morning motivation, you guys are consistent, right? Stick to something and be consistent with it. And the biggest thing, and I mentioned it on Team Zoom yesterday, I mentioned it all the time, is talk about you now as you're going and evolving not when you get to a certain point not when you quit your job not when you make your first five figure it doesn't matter talk about your journey now because people relate to that right they want to see all of you so start expressing all of you because it's super important love you guys love and appreciate you my friend yes they love to see the struggles they love to see you know people fail I, you know most people go to that what race car track that goes round and round and round that, you know, for 500 laps, just waiting for an accident, right? So as they're watching you with this, they're waiting for you to fail so they can go, <laughs> they can laugh at you. But everybody that's in here each morning, y'all's faces, I see y'all here. You're staying dedicated and diligent to your life and dedicated to the things that you're, you're doing to evolve yourself into that next level of life of what you're wanting, whether it's the brick and mortar, whether it's the online, whether it's the, just the products, whether it's the service, whatever you are doing, you're doing something more within you. So you need to go ahead and just raise up your hand right now. If you can, all of you, give yourself a pat on the back. Yes, because y'all deserve it. Because y'all are the one that's making action within your life to move and shake and do the things that are making you happy each day now. The support, the community, the friends that you have within here. I have better friends in here than I do out there in the reality of world. I have better friends within here or family within here than I do out there in that reality of world. Y'all are my family. Y'all are my love. I love watching your journeys because y'all are evolving and loving the support and me as well. Y'all su That support right there helps me evolve each day. It's not even getting that from my family. I get that from Carol and I get that from all of you. She is the one that I get to see every day. She is the one that supported me even through the alien abductions, but it's all good. They didn't probe. We're all perfect, right? So it is a fun life and it is a fun story. And the stories that we tell will assist others because they're going through things as well. So we're going to pass this on to Miss Shannon to wrap this morning up. I love and appreciate you all. Go ahead, Miss Shannon. Morning, everybody. Give thanks to those who have done you wrong. They've unknowingly made you strong. Life is full of give and take. Give thanks and take nothing for granted. Forget what hurt you, but never forget what it taught you. At times, our own light goes out and is rekindled by a spark from another person. Each one of us has cause to thank deep gratitude of those who have lighted the flame within us. So make it a habit to tell people thank you to express your appreciation sincerely and without the expectation of anything in return. Truly appreciate those around you and you'll soon find many others around you. 
Truly appreciate life, and you'll find you have more of it. Power, appreciation, gratitude, love. Mentality of abundance. That's what I heard. That's it. Love it, Shannon. Thank you very much. Love and appreciate you all, guys. We will see you all tomorrow. Wow.